Hi, it's Matt again from Record Technologies, and today we're going to show you how to build this cable. So this cable here, I don't know how long it is yet, but it has 104 square tip on the one side, which is the gauge end with a 5 8 nut. And then the other side here seems to be a 150 square with a 7 8 nut. Now the customer had also said it's been grinding around and as you can see right here it's uh, been bent too far and it's partially melted and the casing is cracking everywhere so this is definitely in need of replacement but what he has requested is a 90 degree adapter to go on the transmission side so that he cannot put that kind of bend back on the cable, which is good because it's clearly interfering with something. It might be hitting a hitting some exhaust tubing or something, but this is melted and exposed and the casing's all dry and cracked, so this is definitely needing to be replaced, like I said. But let's uh let's get a new cable made for this customer and we will show you how we do it. So to start out, I just want to make sure about this tip. It has broken off entirely from the cable, so it does need to be replaced. I'm pretty sure this is a 150 square tip, but take our calipers here just to, just to make sure. It's a little on the thin end, so it's lost some material over the years. Might have been rubbing on something. But that is going to be a, one, a 150. So to start out, we're going to make sure we have everything we need. We got our ferrules, our tips, everything like that. Like I said, this customer is looking for a right angle adapter to go on there, so we're going to fit that on as well. Now, what we're going to do is something a little different. So the bottom end of the cable he currently has has this 150 square tip on it. Uh, we're not going to do that uh, because it's going to be going into an adapter. And these adapters are a default with a 187 tip. So what we're going to do is fit the cable with the 187 tip on this side and give a 150 square tip on the end of the adapter here so it can screw into his transmission and the cable will all run smooth. So this cable here is 9 feet and change, 9 feet 1 inch, 9 feet 2 inch kind of thing. So what we're going to do is just use our chop saw here, cut it to the appropriate length and let's get started. So what we're going to do now is clean off the ends here, make them nice and flush, make them nice and smooth, and that way they'll work better with our ferrules when they go to assemble them. So as you can see here, we have, so I can get that focus there, come on, there we go, and we've cleaned out and made sure this is all nice and smooth, check the other end here, let's see, a little bit of the burnt rubber from the grinding, but otherwise there's part of my glove, but otherwise it's looking pretty good. So let's get the let's get the cable ends attached and go from there. So we're gonna do the gauge in first for no real reason. Just had the ferrule in hand. Put that on. It's gonna fit nice and snug. Only it's only gonna go so far up. And that way we can mount our gauge into tip on there properly without any kind of interference. Take our crimping pliers. One crimp. 
two crimps. Try to get that focus there. So you can see there, that was even a nice tug just to make sure it's not going to come off. Now for the other side, make sure you slide that on first. Get that ferrule on there. Give it a little twist and slide. So you get it down about if it wants to focus here. Jeez. Ah, there we go. Sorry if the camera's shaking too much. Sitting on a workbench. So go and crimp that down. I said give it a nice good tug. Everything's fitting well. Now we will go do the inner core. So the inner core, when it's this long, I have all this inner core on a big giant 500 foot spool. Now, because this is nine feet long, it's better for me to just put this in the vise, feed the cable in until I see it pop up the other end. And that way I have at least a half decent accurate measurement. Because otherwise you're just kind of guessing and you're just uh, gonna have a little, little too much product waste. And sometimes, uh, even the, even doing this, you have a lot of waste, but sometimes you can't do too much about that. And it's just the, just how it is sometimes. So what we're going to do here is fit on our gauge end tip first. This is a 104 square uh, with a little bit of a collar on it. So it hangs on that one ferrule we put on. Now, because it hangs on this side, we're going to do this side first. Then when we drop our cable in, we can see how uh, much length we need to cut off on the other side to put our tip on. So take our cable pliers. A nice couple crimps. Hopefully I can see you good. Give it a nice tug. And now we'll go slide it into the casing and see where we need to trim up. So what we're going to do is just slide this in, bottom out the cable, assess the other side, and then what we'll do is trim it up, mount the other, uh, other tip, and then get it mounted into the gate, uh, the uh, not the gauge, the adapter there, and then we'll make sure it's good to go. Okay, so I trimmed this up off, off camera because it's a little hard for me to cut and trim and kind of find a good place to put the camera. But hopefully, you take my word for it. So, this is a 187 tip. We're going to mount it on the end of the cable here. that on. All right, we're gonna give it a nice tug. We're gonna test fit it just to double check on everything. Then we're going to grease this up and then we're going to mount it on to our adapter here and then make sure we put on a nice 150 square tip on there to complete the uh, complete the cable for our customer. Now this is my least favorite part, putting the grease into the cable. It's just a god awful. Sorry, I get the camera here. Just a, just a globby mess. But we'll get it all in there and make sure this cable lasts for years and years. Now, as you push the cable in deeper. The longer it is, you start getting a bit of resistance just because the grease is actually kind of gripping onto the whole shaft of the cable, and it just makes it a little tougher to push in. But it's okay. It's not hurting anything or doing anything it shouldn't. It's just being a little stubborn. Okay, so we got this end of the cable here. 
which is our 187. Got it all greased up. I also changed my gloves, which in hindsight I probably should have done that before I greased it, but what's done is done. So this cable, because it's a little long and greased and a little unwieldy, sometimes to put these uh, into adapters, I think a little bit of a finesse. They kind of want to flop around and move everywhere. And as long as you get things started, should be good to go. Just thread that nut on there. Make sure it's nice and tight. No kind of movement, no nothing like that. Everything feels good. So now, what we need to do is give this end a tip. So what we have here is our adapter key with a 150 tip. Let's check that. Our calipers again, just to make sure. There we go. Yeah, that's a one off a one fifty. So what we do, take that key in, find the right slot, push it in, and that's it. Now normally these are can be done by hand. This one still can, but because it's nine feet long, it does take a little bit of oomph to it but when the transmission's turning it it shouldn't have a problem at all and let's say 1000 series which means it's a one-to-one -one. so one rotation in will be one rotation out you can get these in a whole sort of different configurations you can get them into a 0.5 which will cut this output in half or you can get them into a two which will double them or you can get them even in uh, 2.5 threes fours uh, you can cut them into all sorts of different lengths, or sorry, different uh, different ratios, depending on what you need to do. But this customer has his cable done. He's got his 150 square on the one side, his 104 square on the gauge end. And now that way, he won't have to have that huge bend in his cable to get it working properly. So this cable should last a lot longer than his old one and be a lot more reliable too. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at uh, our website and the, all our information is down below. Uh, yeah, until next time with our, our next video.